We are two weeks now into the World Cup. In fact, the U.S. plays its second game coming up on Sunday, and it seems like just about everybody has world football fever. 23 ABC's Casey Kiernan takes a look at whether or not that soccer spotlight is here to stay. Judging by the crowds in bars and restaurants, or just by clicking on YouTube, you might think that soccer is quickly becoming one of America's favorite sports. Turned away by Carnezes. In fact, viewership is up 20% since the last we World Cup. Ooh, great save. But actually, that great save means this World Cup game ends 0 0. And can soccer in America really survive no goals or. The flopping and the injuries. I was raised on baseball, football, and wrestling. When people go, go! So maybe not everyone is totally convinced yet. But still, since the 1994 World Cup in the USA, we've been hearing that the soccer takeover is right around the corner. And so has CSUB women's head coach Gary Kurnee. From then on, it started to be this is going to be a place to be or we're going to be good at it or we're going to be world class at it. So it's taken a while, but it seems to be getting there. For one sect of the American sports landscape, it's already there. The American Outlaws are a U.S. national team fan club. The Bakersfield chapter is now over 100 strong. When you get together with a group of fans and, and watch a game, it's a lot of fun. Right, and in between that time, I mean, you're, you're kind of a nomad in the sense that there's only a few select people you might have in your circle of friends or acquaintances that will sit there and have a discussion about soccer. Major League Soccer has begun. MLS was founded two years after America's World Cup, another small step toward that big soccer takeover. We as Americans, we're used to seeing the best, best basketball players, best baseball players. They all, they all play here in, here in the States, and that's what we're used to, and we expect the same out of our, our soccer league. And if that's true, then MLS has a lot of catching up to do, a hundred years of history to make up for compared to the best leagues in the world. So maybe World Cup popularity every four years doesn't mean world domination just yet. You know, I don't think that the boys are going to leave Kobe and go watch Landon Donovan. I, I, soccer has got its own niche market now, and I think that's fantastic. Casey Gearnan, 23ABC Sports.